These are basically all the displays that I use in my projects. So I thought it would be nice to talk a bit about each of these displays and also give you a small example of how to use it. In that way you could add one of these to your projects and give it a better look. We have displays for text, for numbers, dot matrices and e-papers. Some of these also have a touch screen, so you could also control stuff as well. I will use the Arduino for each example, and I will provide the libraries and an example sketch for each, so make sure you check the links below in the description. Before we start, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for future videos. Also, thanks to all my patrons for the support. So, let's get started. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB, which upgraded their factory so now they can offer 5 pieces of common 2 layer PCBs with a production time of only 24 hours, and that without any additional fees. So for that, prototyping becomes faster than before, but for the same low price. Upload the Gerber file, select the PCB settings, and order high quality PCBs for a few dollars. What's up my friends, welcome back. We have a lot of displays to see. So I think I will start with the most common, and this is a 16x2 liquid crystal display, or LCD. You can display up to 32 characters including letters, numbers, special characters or unique made icons. To communicate with this display we have 16 pins. 8 of these pins are a parallel data input. Then we have the supply, the read or write enable pin and to set the contrast. So use this schematic for this first example with an Arduino connected directly to the LCD pins. Now go and download the first example code for this video called example 16x2 LCD. It will be a very long video if I explain each display step by step. That's why for each example you have a full schematic, the code and the libraries that you need below in the description. So go and open the code, and for each code you'll have comments line by line and links for the libraries. Download the library that you need in a zip file, then go to sketch, include library and select add.zip library and there select the downloaded zip file. And that's it, the new library should be installed. Then in the code you have comments for all the steps, and in the void loop you have a few examples. This LCD is very simple, so I will only show you how to print text and numbers. I upload the example and there you have it. I can print text, numbers and some special characters on the LCD. The problem is that this setup uses a lot of pins, so most of the Arduino pins are used and we don't want that. The solution is to use this kind of serial module. This is an I2C module that only needs two connections, the data and clock, and it will automatically create the parallel output for the LCD. So solder this module to the display and make these connections with only two wires. Now download and open the second code for this video named example 16x2 I2C LCD. Make sure that you install the new library. Upload the code and there you go. In this case I also show you how to create the special unique characters such as musical note, arrow and so on. So using just two wires we can control the LCD. You can set the contrast of the display using this potentiometer on the back. Also, if you use different I2C addresses, you could use two LCDs or more at the same time and print different text on each. We have multiple colors for this type of LCDs and the only thing that is different is the price and the slave address. Read the comments in the code for more. I've used this type of LCD in a bunch of projects, such as the sliding camera support, the temperature PAD control, the door lock projects and much more. In the same way we also have this 20x4 LCD. It uses the same libraries but is bigger. With the same I2C module sorted on the back of the LCD and using the same schematic, upload the next code and now we could use a bigger LCD. I've used this type of display in my manual CNC project since I needed more space for all the printed data. So depending on your project use a small one or the bigger one. Ok now let's see the next type of display. I also use a lot these OLED displays. They have a better resolution. We have the 128 by 32 pixel one and the 128 by 64 pixel one. This OLED display usually use I2C communication but also SPI. I wasn't able to make the SPI one to work since I had some problems with the libraries. 
that's why I always use the I2C type. Once again it has 4 pins, power, ground, data and clock. Connect it to the Arduino as in this schematic and open the third code for this video called example I2C OLED 64 or 32, depending on the use size of the OLED screen. I've used this kind of displays for a lot of projects, such as the RPM meter, the power meter and much more. This display is one of my favorites since it is very cheap and easy to use. So upload this code that will show you how to print text, numbers and create your own logos with a size of 128 by 64 or 32 pixels. On my webpage electronoops.com you will also find this image to LCD program that will pass a BMP format picture to hexadecimal data for the LCD so you could create your own unique logos like this one I did here. The code is the same for both sizes of the OLED screen. And as for the SPI screen, you also have the schematic and codes below, but I don't know for sure if my OLED display is not functioning or is the code. Ok, another very common LCD is this Nokia 5110 LCD module that costs a few dollars. These ones have a different design and a blue black light. So make these connections from the Arduino to the screen. This display also uses an SPI communication. Now go below and download the code and libraries for this display. The code is named example Nokia 5110. Upload the code and now, as before, we have an example of how to print text, numbers and your own logo, made as before using the image to LCD program. The library also has a demo where you can see how to draw lines, circles, squares and much more, including sliding your created logos as you can see here. So that's it for this display. For the next example, we have only numerical display. Well, it could also print letters such as A, C, E, F and so on, but not the entire alphabet. This is a 7 segment module and uses a shift driver to control 8 7 segment displays. So make these connections to the Arduino for clock, data, load and supply and download the next code from below called 7 segments max 7219 driver. Upload the code and see how you could print numbers and a few letters as well. I've used this kind of display for my subscriber counter project since it looks pretty nice with a vintage look. Ok, now here is another 7 segment display but without the driver. It has 40 pins, so in order to use it without the driver we should use at least an Arduino Mega. Also controlling this kind of LCD is not that easy. It is very sensible. I could activate it even with my fingers. Now if I connect ground to these pins I can turn the segments off. But we need an analog signal with both positive and negative polarity, otherwise the LCD would damage over time. As you can see if I connect ground to the first common pin and positive to the others I could control each of the segments. But we need too many pins and also a circuit to apply the dual polarity signal. So for that I bought this other module that already has a driver. This LCD also uses a serial communication. Connect it like this to the Arduino and download the code called example 7 segment LCD 6x1. Upload the code and see how you could print numbers from 0 to 9 and also a few letters. You could also control the decimal dot and the total of 6 7 segment displays using just 3 wires. This kind of display is very useful when you have a project that works with numbers. Ok, so another interesting kind of display is this dot matrix. You could connect them in series, so then the data from the first module will go to the next one. I only have 2, but you could use up to 8 modules using this library. It uses the same driver, the Mac 7219, as the other 7 segment display. I've used this chip to make my own huge matrix in a previous project. Connect the matrices like this to an Arduino and download the next code example.matrixdisplay. Upload the code and as you can see you could scroll text or numbers and also some unique icons that you could edit. You could control the speed, set it to scroll or static text and merge multiple matrices together. So that's it for this dot matrix display. Now we jump to some more complicated displays. First we have this e-paper display since it has a look of an electronic paper. This one is great for low power use since the picture will still be on the screen after you disconnect the power. As you can see, I disconnect the cable but the image is still there. 
so once you refresh the new image, you could disconnect the power supply in order to save some power. Make these connections to the Arduino. It also uses an SPA serial communication, so connect the data pins. Download the next code and the libraries from below called ePaper example. Upload the code and once again, see how to print text, numbers, draw figures such as circles, squares or print your own icons as before. Use the image to LCD to create your logo in hexadecimal format. So there you have it, that's how to use this ePaper display and give your project a nice paper look. Finally, I have these two TFT displays. One is a color display and the other one has a touch screen as well. This one here is based on the ILI 9341 chip that could display different colors. It uses an SPA communication as you can see here on these pins. So connect it like this to the Arduino and go and download the next example code. It is called ILI 9341 TFT example. Upload it and see how you could change the color of the screen, print text and numbers and other shapes. This is a very nice display to use and give your project more colors. Now in the same way I have this next TFT display that also has a touch screen. It needs a shield in order to be used since as you can see it has a lot of pins. But I don't have that shield so I've tried to make one myself. I couldn't make this display to work and I don't know if it is damaged or if the library is wrong. You have the schematic below for the shield or for direct connection and also the use library. Upload the code and test if it works, in my case the screen stayed always white, so sorry for that. Ok guys that's it, these were all the displays that I have. There are more types of screens that you could use, with different sizes, colors, functions and so on. If you would like a more detailed tutorial on any of the presented displays, leave a comment in the comment section below. I hope this video will help you to make an idea of the options that you have for your projects and how to use each of these displays. Also that you have learned something new. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and activate the notification bell for future videos. Also click the like button like crazy and share this video with your friends. And remember that your help on Patreon means a lot for me and will keep this kind of videos going. So thanks again and see you later guys.